If I have a, a wire through which I run a current, let's say I run a current I1 to this wire, it will produce a magnetic field, right hand corkscrew, right here, that magnetic field will be in the blackboard, I'll call it B1, right here it will be out of the blackboard, but that's irrelevant right now, but it is out of the blackboard, here it's in the blackboard. And here I have another wire, I'm going to run a current I2. There will be a force now on this wire in the direction I cross B. Take your hand, I cross B, that force is up. So this wire will experience a force up. But of course, if this wire experiences a force up, since action equals minus reaction, this wire will experience a force down. So they will go towards each other. They will be attracted by each other. You can in an independent way confirm that the force here is down. So this is the force. For me it would be enough to say action equals minus reaction, Newton's third law. But if you want to put in here the magnetic field B2, which is the result of this current, which is of course out of the blackboard, remember the right hand corkscrew rule, then you will see that this force now here must be in the direction of I1 cross with B2, and that's down, which is exactly what I predicted. So the two wires will go towards each other. However, if I leave everything the same, but I reverse the direction of I2, so now the two currents are in opposite direction, then the forces will flip over, and so now the two wires repel each other. And I will demonstrate that to you. I have those two wires here, and you will see them there on the screen. I will explain what you're looking at in some detail. The two wires run vertically. This is one wire, and this is the other wire. And when I run a current in the same direction, then they will attract each other. And you will see that shortly. Three, two, one, zero. See, they go towards each other. I will do it again. No. If I run the currents in opposite directions, they will repel each other. Now I run them in opposite direction. They repel each other. I'll do it again. Three, two, one, zero. They repel each other. The reason why I showed you this demonstration is a different one. What I want you to appreciate that if I have this conducting plate of aluminum, it's a conductor, and I put that in between the two wires and I repeat the experiment that exactly the same thing will happen. And that tells you that magnetic fields are really very different from electric fields because the electric field would be heavily affected by a conducting sheet like this. Magnetic fields are not. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this plate in between and then I'm going to again put the currents in opposite directions and so you'll see the wires repel each other as if the plate were not there. Three, two, one, zero. There you go. So magnetic fields have a very interesting story to tell. However, electricity and magnetism are connected.